I saw somewhere that you said you saw baby, cash money baby, mm -hmm. by seven Bentleys. Uh, did you see baby? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, um, I was getting ready to do the movie Ball of Blocking, uh -huh. and um, we was on the set, and we, me, him, cash money millionaires, we was performing at the House of Blues, and um, baby just got 30 million, you know? And what was so crazy, what, what people don't understand, that when Juvenile dropped back that ass up, that album sold so many albums, so, made so much money, that the, um, the advance that Universal gave Baby, they paid it back off one album. Wow. So everything they made from that moment on, they were in the black. Mm. Not in the red, in the black. Mm -hmm. So we hanging out one day, and Baby's taking the whole neighborhood shopping. He took care of a lot of people. And we stopped at the store. That motherfucker was getting mint, Bentley. So me and my homie was the guy, Ron Bird was his name. Mm -hmm. And me and Ron like, don't look at him. You know how you don't look at nobody? Mm -hmm. You know, you think they might look up. Right. You motherfucker, <laughs> take, hey, you turn your hair real quick. And um, for a moment, we really thought that nigga was going to get us a car. <laughs> and we didn't get that fucking car, though. But man, <laughs> it, baby, it, it wasn't like he, he didn't respect money. He just makes so much of it that it don't hurt him. Mm -hmm. So I was there to witness that. Good dude. Yeah. Baby, good dude. Um, we mess with lyrical hip hop on this platform. So uh, I just want to ask you, who is your top five dead or alive? Um, my top five rappers. Um, I'm a fan of Lil Baby. Mm -hmm. I'm a little fan. I'm a fan of Kodak Black. Mm -hmm. I'm a fan of um, Moneybag Yo. Mm. Yeah, love his shit too. Um, um, then you got to put Jay-Z in there. Then the coldest line in the history of rap music was a young nigga from Compton, a nigga named Easy e <laughs> when that nigga says, so what about the bitch who got shot? Fuck her. That line right there to me. <laughs> <laughs> he says, so what about the bitch who got shot? Fuck her. You think I give a, 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 you think I give a fuck about a bitch? I ain't a sucker. Yeah. <laughs> This is an autobiography of the E, and if you ever fuck with me, you get taken by a stupid cold brother who'll smother. Worry to the motherfucker, straight out of Compton. <laughs> yeah, easy fucking. And you pay homage to Easy in your show, like you, all the time. It's just you got love for him all the time. Um, are you? So you listen to Kodak Black and everything? What about R and B on it? You listen to anything current on the R and B side right now? No, I, the, the, my R and B person now is Drake. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because Drake, you know, it sounds like he rapping, but, the, but her motherfucker was saying some fly shit, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he put a little rap in there. Yeah. So I really enjoy that, yo. But yeah. if I had to go old school stylistics, mm -hmm. the moments, the temptations, Marvin Gaye, you know, I was listening to him on the plane, and he was talking about who's going to save the world mm -hmm. and that's destined to die. Mm -hmm. And um, it helps, it, it takes me to a point where I wish I could put um, Elon Musk. Um, my man from Microsoft, Bill Gates. Bill Gates. Um, my man from um, the guys from Google. Mm -hmm. What's the other rich old white man? Bezos, Amazon. Amazon, Bezos, and the other guy in stocks. He's about uh, Warren Buffett. Warren Buffett, and we get them to understand how powerful they are to create their own government mm -hmm. to save the world and take care of people. Mm. You know, because those five men alone. To take care of the world. It's the kind of money that they have. And I'm not saying to make everybody rich. I mean just to make everybody comfortable, medical insurance, things of that nature to make people happy, a place for um, mentally ill, people who um, are depressed. Because people get depressed because they, I always say people become depressed because they look at somebody else's hand. Mm -hmm. Because people, most people don't play the hand that they dealt, right? Mm -hmm. So if you, if you play the hand that you dealt, you pretty much you could be satisfied with your life. Mm -hmm. But when you look at other people's hands and see how they play in their hand, you can get envy, you get jealous. If people learn how to control their emotions, come to the relationships, they will have a little bit of peace of mind. Don't get me wrong, everybody in this room has emotions, right? Mm -hmm. Your heart get mad, you get upset, you get jealous of somebody. What I teach people is to control your emotions. Mm -hmm. So you're st still gonna have that. But control your emotions. It hurts. And it takes years of mental training and um, discipline to get there. It doesn't happen overnight, but um, it got, you got to start from somewhere. And I always tell people, my job is to give you the information 
is up to you how you process it. What the fuck was poppin' is your boy Mike Powers? Mike. <laughs> 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 <laughs>